And the Bible says, Romans chapter 10, verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So there's the summary. But notice what that verse, Romans 10, 9, did not say. It did not say, if you believe in your head that Jesus died and rose from the dead, And there's a lot of people who believe in Jesus like that and they're not Christians. It may sound like a bold statement, but I know that because the devil himself believes that about Jesus. That Jesus died on the cross and rose from the dead. The devil believes that. And he's not a Christian. Yet I fear that multitudes of attenders and members of churches today have only that level of belief in Jesus and they're not Christians. They believe in their heads, just out of the cross, rose from the grave, enough to pay him homage with somewhat regular church attendance. But their lives look just like the rest of the world loving all the same things the world loves, living for all the same things the world lives for, that's not what it means to be a Christian, not according to Christ. Jesus said, Jesus said, Luke 9, 23, if anyone would come after me, anybody, let him deny himself and take up his cross, die to himself daily and follow me. Jesus says to follow me as savior of your life is to follow me as Lord over your life, as the one who has all authority in your life. So to be a Christian, a follower of Christ, means that you submit your life to his lordship. Your plans for your life are submitted to him. Your possessions belong to him. He is Lord over your time. He is Lord over your money. He determines how you spend your money, not you. He determines how you spend your time, not you. He is Lord over your relationships. He is Lord over who you date, who you marry, how you act in marriage, how you parent. He is Lord over your life at home. He is Lord over your life at work. He's Lord over your life at play, your recreation. He's Lord over your thoughts. He's Lord over your desires. He's Lord over your decisions and your conversations, your budget and your ambitions. Now these are things we don't talk about in consumer Christianity. No, we dilute what it means to follow Christ in order to draw as many people as possible into the church. We say practically become a Christian and you can keep your life as you know it when it's not true. When you become a Christian, you lose your life as you knew it. And you find entirely new life in him.